We all know that in the universe, there are trillion trillions of planets. A planet is something like Earth, which rotates around a star. But we also have starless planets, which are called rogue planets. Today, we're not gonna talk about rogue planets because they deserve a video themselves. In this video, we wanna talk about the biggest planet in the universe. One of those giant planets is in our own solar system. Jupiter, which is a ginormous planet. Jupiter is so large that you could fit 1300 Earths inside it. Just imagine the size of it. But the biggest planet in the solar system got nothing on the biggest planet in the world. The biggest planet ever found is HD 10546b. Just like Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter, this planet is formed with gas. This planet is so giant that you could fit around 1 million planet Earths inside it. You can compare the size of this planet with our own sun. It's just a little bit smaller than the sun and it has a diameter of 986,000 kilometers. We could say this planet hasn't grown fully because its age is extremely young for a planet. Its age is only 10 million years old. Our own planet is four and a half billion years old. And you could say planet Earth is kind of young as well. HD 10546b is 450 times younger than planet Earth. This planet is so young that when the dinosaurs were roaming the planet, this thing didn't even exist yet. This planet formed when monkeys and chimps were going through evolution and getting smarter and smarter. This planet is so violent and hot that it caused it to be this big. Scientists say this thing could be a brown dwarf as well. And if it's not a brown dwarf yet, it's gonna turn into one. Brown dwarfs were discovered in 1844 by William Bell, a German astronomer. And he noticed that brown dwarfs are kind of like a star, but their core doesn't get hot enough to be a star. They get colder and colder and don't produce any light like a star. We could kind of call this a star planet because it doesn't get hot enough to be a star and it's not cold enough to be a planet. That is why it can be considered a brown dwarf. This brown dwarf is 312 light years away from us. And right now, it's the biggest planet in the universe. Seeing planets from afar is extremely difficult because you can see the stars because of their light but the planets are usually hidden and can barely be seen. That is why we can only see the planets that are around us. There might be planets in different galaxies really far away from us that can be way bigger than this one, but we have no idea if it exists or not. Because right now, we can't see that far. This planet that is 312 light years away from us is really close in astronomical distances and can be seen. But what is the second biggest planet found in the universe? CQ Lupi B. This is also a gas planet because a rock planet can never get this big. Only the gas planets usually get this big, just like Jupiter. Diameter of this planet is 420,000 kilometers, meaning it's half the size of the biggest one, but half of that is still ginormous. This planet is really interesting. The interesting part is, 
that it sits 151 trillion kilometers away from its star. But it still rotates around the star, even though it's this far. And we have no idea how powerful that star is, that from this distance, it attracts that planet. The distance of this planet to its star is a hundred times the distance of Earth to our Sun. If we were this far from our Sun, we would see the Sun as a small star. For us, it takes 1200 years for CQ Lupi B to do one orbit around its star. We can compare it to Pluto, the dwarf planet that was fired from being a planet. It takes Pluto 240 Earth years to do one orbit around the Sun. Another interesting thing you should know, that Mercury does one orbit around the Sun in 88 days. The reason is that it's the closest planet to the star. Since we got to know two giant planets, let's get to know another one. WASP-17b This is another gas planet that is a thousand light years away from us. It was discovered in 2009 and it's double the size of Jupiter. The weird part is that even though it's double the size of Jupiter, but the mass is half of Jupiter. It seems like it was injected with some type of steroids, but it doesn't have real strength. NASA calls this planet a puffy planet. It's kind of like a cream puff, meaning it's giant, but it's really soft on the inside. If you notice, Earth rotates around the Sun like this. The same way Sun is rotating, Earth rotates with it. But WASP-17b is the first planet discovered that does the reverse of its star. So it rotates the opposite way of its star. And this got the astronomers thinking, because they have never seen a planet rotate around its star like this. The more we look into the universe, the more our mind gets blown. Unfortunately, in our lifetime, it's hard to discover a lot of new things. But generation after generation, we will get to know this universe better and better. Let's see where we get to.